Hey folks, my name is Andrew with Viking Electronics. On this channel, we bring you product tips, industry trends, and tech updates. So be sure to subscribe for all of our video updates. In today's video, I want to talk to you briefly about a resource that is on Viking's webpage that is available uh, for everybody. So I had a conversation with an installer who was going out to a customer site to fix a uh, Viking paging system install. Uh, in my opinion, after kind of getting some information, uh, I think the install was not done properly the first time. What this customer had on site is a PA-15 and three of the 25AE paging horns. The volume was too low to be heard over the sound of their manufacturing facility. Let me show you a couple resources here on the computer and then we'll come back here and talk about it afterward. So the first thing I wanna show you is a decibel comparison chart. Now uh, this is put out by Purdue University and this 70 decibels is an arbitrary base of comparison and uh, you know just frame a reference you know conversation in a restaurant is about 60 decibels which is about half as loud as 70 decibels uh, and that's perceived loudness you'll you'll hear this as about half as loud as 70 decibels 80 decibels is perceived to be two times as loud as 70 decibels so every time you increase by 10 decibels you are doubling the perceived loudness so we have a chart called the paging power chart application note uh, it's actually application note number 895 so if you go to vikingelectronics.com type in 895 into the search box it will be the result that shows up here this chart talks about db rating on vikings 8 ohm amplifiers this customer had a model pa15 they had three horns they should be getting about 112 decibels and that's similar to a live rock concert that's the average human pain threshold perceived to be 16 times as loud as the 70 decibel comparison so you should be able to get plenty of volume out of here and you can see as you add speakers the decibel rating at each speaker decreases and this is uh, using the 25 AE paging horn so this is exactly where uh, he should be falling here and that's if he is uh, set up his install according to the managing power loss chart uh, the chart below shows the maximum recommended length in feet for the number of 8 ohm speakers on a wire pair to maintain a volume loss of less than 5 decibels. That should be a kind of perceived volume loss of less than 5 decibels at the furthest speaker. So this chart is giving you your wire gauge size compared to the number of 8 ohm speakers on each of the two wire runs. So this customer had three speakers on 24 gauge cable their furthest speaker should be no further than 105 feet away from the PA 15 now this speaker run had the furthest speaker about 300 feet so really it's up here so they're losing you know multiple probably more than 5 DB uh, being three times the recommended distance there's a couple easy fixes. Recabling and using 18 gauge speaker wire would allow your max distance of 420 feet. So you would get at least five decibels back. And if you go here, uh, back to the noise comparison charts, you know, every 10 you perceive as doubling in loudness. So if you gain five, you're increasing your perceived loudness by about 50%. And that's just from recabling. You can see on this chart too, the PA15 has an option to use with a PS-3 power adapter, which uh, this is maybe 112 dB right here. I don't know, it's not exact science for this chart uh, in terms of measurement, but this is maybe 114, so uh, an additional two. So that's, that's seven dB, which is almost doubling the perceived loudness. Uh, just by making those two changes. If he does need to add more speakers, you can see how an example of the managing power losses chart comes into play. This speaker run on a PA60 has 10 speakers on an 18 gauge wire 
maxed out at 125 feet. So you've got 10 speakers, 18 gauge wire, 125 feet. Now, if you've got further speakers, this is five speakers on an 18 pair, ran 215 feet. So five speakers, 18 gauge cabling, 250 feet. It may be the best option to add additional speakers and additional amplifiers. This customer in particular was looking to add another room to their paging system, so they do need to add additional speakers. Whenever you're designing or fine tuning a paging system using 8 ohm speakers, this paging power chart and the managing power losses chart is a great resource to help you maximize the decibel rating at your furthest speaker every time. Check out the description section down below for links to this chart uh, as well as additional videos on paging. And if you do want to dive into Vikings paging equipment, we do have a playlist that I'll put on screen for you here. Thanks to all of our subscribers. Be sure to like the video if you did. I'm Andrew with Viking Electronics. See you next time.